Hello everyone out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you some of the ways that I like to make my home cozy and calm. Most of us spend a lot of time in our homes and it's nice to have it be an environment that's relaxing and supports our well-being. So today I wanted to share with you some of the ways that I like to do that. Um, and please do share below in the comments section uh, after this video if you have any other ways that you find helps make your space nice and cozy and calm and some of the things that you do that uh, maybe I didn't talk about in today's video. You can share them below in the comments. and. Let's get into it. So the first thing that definitely helps with creating a space that is more calm is keeping it as tidy as possible as often as you can. Now, am I always super tidy? Absolutely not. But there's a couple things that I find really helps me out with this. And one of those things is making sure that I have a spot for things, like a proper spot for things, because it's so easy to accumulate different piles of things, or you have something and you don't know exactly where to put it, and then it just kind of ends up in random places. Um, but I try to be, I try to be pretty particular about giving things a proper home. I hung up a little hook in our front closet where I hang my purse and we have a nice little basket where Sean puts his wallet and keys. Just making use of things like storage, you know, bins or baskets or shelving units, things like that. And another thing that I find makes a big difference in helping my space feel more calm and a little bit more organized and tidy generally is just being really intentional about what I bring home. Just asking questions like, you know, is this something that will have a purpose? Will it get used? Um, just to avoid things accumulating. The next thing that I want to talk about here that I love having in my home is a cozy nook. And there are so many ways that you can create a cozy nook for yourself. This could be in your living room, right? Maybe there's like a spot on your couch that you feel like you always gravitate to where that's where you like to sit, that's where you like to read. You know, having a nice cozy blanket, maybe having a bookshelf nearby where you keep your books or a drawer where you have, you know, your journal or your Kindle or something like that where things are kind of easily accessible and it's just a nice nook. This could also be another room in your house potentially if you have the space where you can lay out your yoga mat and maybe you have some plants in there or um, whatever. Things that just make a, a small space in your home feel like a nice nook for yourself. I'm so excited because I just recently turned a part of our basement into an art studio for myself and I am so over the moon about it. My heart and soul is just the happiest ever. Um, I have always done art, I've always drawn and painted and that, but it's been something that I've revisited more recently and actually having a proper space for all of my art supplies has been, I can't even tell you how happy my soul is and it's just this nice little nook um, that I like to have that's kind of special and meaningful to me, although it's a little bit of a work in progress, but I certainly have other areas of my home where it's just a cozy nook. And the best part about having a space like this is you can almost use it sometimes as being like a designated spot for you to have quiet time, you know, like time to yourself. That's just your special space. Um, and you can even extend this idea to kids. If you have young kids, you know, kind of giving them a designated spot where they have quiet time. Next, Definitely, ugh, this gotta be one of the best feelings, is getting into bed at night to clean bed sheets, freshly washed bed sheets, um, or maybe getting yourself some new bed sheets. We just recently got some brand new linen bed sheets and a new linen duvet cover from Magic Linen. Um, I'm so in love with linen. I've had like the linen material type of bedding on my bed for so many years. And so it's nice to kind of get some new ones, some nice fresh new sheets and, and a duvet cover. We went with like a nice natural kind of beigey sheet with a really nice soft dusty blue duvet cover. It just feels so great. Um, you almost sleep better too when you are in like clean, fresh bed sheets. And speaking of sleeping, something else that definitely makes the space feel extra cozy at nighttime is actually turning the temperature down a little bit. This is actually can be a great way to help you to sleep better. Our bodies naturally respond better to a lower like ambient temperature at night. 60 to 68 Fahrenheit or 15 to 20 degrees Celsius um, is pretty optimal for helping you to sleep 
a little bit better because that way your body's not working continuously to try to regulate the temperature. Oh my God, I'm dropping my laptop. We definitely turn down, I mean, it's the, you know, almost the winter now, so we do have the furnace on a lot of the time, but we do try to turn it down at night so it's like a little cooler, honestly. Then you get nice and cozy in your sheets under the covers. The next thing that is such a big part of my life, and most of us, I'm sure, though, is having um, just your favorite loungewear. Maybe your favorite pair of sweatpants, cozy pants, favorite sweater. For me, I love my house coat. I live in my house coat. I have a nice, like, super fluffy, cozy white house coat that I like to wear in the morning, throw it on at night. I also have a pair of slippers that I love. I definitely am a slipper wearer makes me feel extra cozy when I'm walking around the house. I always have them on my feet. Actually, I get a lot of questions about where they are from. They're these nice like felt slipper and they're actually from Kyrgyz. I'll leave them linked below. Or even like a nice new sweater that just makes you feel extra warm and nice. This actually I just recently got thrifted. Got it from the thrift store. And I just love throwing on a nice cozy sweater. I feel like I have said the word cozy maybe too many times in this video so far. I'm gonna try to use a different adjective. Next are candles. I love lighting candles. Definitely makes the space feel really warm, really lovely, especially in the evening or when you have people over. Um, I'm quite a big fan of beeswax candles actually. They tend to burn brighter, they last longer. They're a cleaner burning candle than a typical paraffin wax candle. So I love beeswax, but um, lighting them in the evening, especially with dinner, I love to light a candle with dinner, or just kind of have them burning uh, in the evening is just such a cozy thing to do. Comfy. Trying to think of a different word uh, besides cozy. It's just such a such a comforting thing to do having candles going and it really can change like the vibe of a space by even just lighting a single candle. Next is music. Music can totally change a space. When we first moved into this house back in the summer, um, I hadn't really played much music for some reason and I realized one day like gosh I feel like I haven't played any of my favorite music in this house very much and you know just putting on my favorite songs putting on your favorite playlist just instantly makes your home feel so much more homey um, it really really does and especially when it comes to creating a nice atmosphere um, at different times of the day sometimes I like to have a soft meditation kind of um, music playlist playing in the morning when I'm drinking my tea. I love doing that, that's really quite lovely. Or um, listening to jazz music at dinner time can be such a great thing to kind of add to that kind of time, that meal time. Um, or even just, you know, your favorite playlist at another time of day um, can really make a difference in how your home feels. Another thing that is a huge part of my life are my teas, my collection of teas and my favorite mug ever. I don't know what I would do without these things. Let me know in the comments below if you're a coffee drinker or if you're a tea drinker or like what kind of beverage. Maybe you're like a cappuccino person or a latte person or an espresso person. There's so many kinds of cozy warm drinks. I'm very much so a tea person. So I have a nice little tea basket in my cupboard in the kitchen um, that I try to keep kind of organized and I have all my favorite teas in there. Um, and I also have my very favorite mug. It's this mug that I always use for my tea. And I've actually been asked so many times where this mug is from. It's kind of like a very handmade mug. It was actually gifted to me from an old colleague of mine. Um, her sister is a potter and makes them. Unfortunately, she doesn't sell them. I've asked so many times, but anyway, that's where I got that mug from. But it's my favorite mug. Um, yeah, let me know if you have a favorite mug. It, like almost adds to the ritual of making your tea or your coffee in the morning. It's like drinking out of your favorite mug. The next thing that I feel, especially this time of year, the fall, the winter, when it's colder outside, um, that makes a space feel warm and cozy is baking. I love baking, especially this time of year, but any time of year really. But this could be banana bread or muffins or your favorite cookie. Um, or whatever your favorite kind of dessert is. Something that I've been loving is a berry crumble. Highly recommend making this. The full recipe is actually on my blog. It's seriously so good and it's so easy to make, but it's really just 
berries um, that you place in the bottom of a dish and then you cover with a really nice oat crumble with um, oats, oat flour, or you could do a spelt flour, brown sugar or coconut sugar, a little bit of sea salt and uh, butter or coconut oil. You just kind of mix that together, crumble that on top. It's like, you know, apple crisp, but it's a berry crisp, berry crumble. You bake that, so good, smells delicious, tastes absolutely amazing, uh, so good. Which brings me to my last kind of point here, and that is eating together, but also like setting the mood for dinner time. This isn't always possible, right? Like sometimes the people that we live with may have different schedules, we can't always eat together, or sometimes it's a chaotic time if you have young kids, right? Like dinner time or meal time isn't always like the most peaceful and calm, but little things like you know, maybe setting the table really nicely sometimes, laying things out nicely, or playing a really beautiful playlist. Like I said, I love to do jazz music sometimes at dinner. It's just really, really nice. Or lighting a candle and putting that on the dinner table. Um, these little things just help to make that mealtime feel extra special and calm and warm and inviting. And also just spending time together, right? A little bit more, being more present with one another with meals, I feel like meal time and eating is such a time and place to connect and to talk about our days and to just be present with each other um, without having too many distractions going like the TV on and that kind of thing. So that's it for today's video. Some of the ways that I like to create a very calm and cozy home. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm sure you do some of these things as well. But if you have any other kind of things that you want to share that you do to make your space feel extra cozy and warm and inviting, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And um, yeah, that's it. Anything that I mentioned in this video, I will leave links to in the description box if there's a few things that you want to check out that I talked about. And oh, and the recipe for the berry crumble. You got to try it. It's so good. I'll leave that linked below as well. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.